Hi everyone, in today's video I am just going to show you how I change my Janome Memorycraft 9900 from a sewing machine to an embroidery machine. Now if you've followed my channel for a while you'll know that I use this combined machine. It was quite a considered purchase when I bought it several years ago but I looked at it as an investment and I thought that as I wanted to try and, you know, do a little bit of machine embroidery, I thought I would get a machine that was kind of future proof because at that time I didn't know whether I was going to use it a little or a lot. Now, I have to say, I have only used it a little. And in the last couple of years, I don't think I've done anything until very recently with the embroidery side of the machine. But it's a great machine. It's a very sturdy machine and it's a machine that I know that I can grow into. So if I suddenly decide that, you know, I'm going to get into machine embroidery even more, I know that this machine will do it for me. So the first thing to just say is that you may have seen this machine before. The bluey turquoise front panel that you can see over on the right hand side here is actually interchangeable. When I bought this machine it came with two extra panels so there's like a deep red and there's a plain white. This was the colour that came on mine when it came in the box and I've just left it but this actual panel here you can take off and swap it out if you want a different colour. As I said, it's a Janome, it's a Memorycraft 9900 and it's got tons of stitches, tons of, you know, decorative stitches, buttonhole stitches, all sorts of things. But today I just want to show you how it converts from being a regular sewing machine to an embroidery machine. This machine also comes with an attachment which is like a knee lifter that just goes over here on the front and it also comes with a large foot pedal but I've never unpacked the foot pedal at all. I operate this machine just purely and simply by the start stop button and the speed button. So when you get this machine you also get an embroidery unit. Now at the time I was looking for this machine I did quite a bit of research on the internet and I asked in a few different, you know, online groups and looked around myself and the two machines that, that were coming up as like more or less for what I wanted was this one and one of the brother machines. I honestly can't remember which one it was, but it was kind of comparable to this. It had, you know, the same kind of stitches, it had two decent size hoops, everything that I was looking for really. I think the only reason I ended up going with the Janome, despite the fact that my regular sewing machine before this was a brother, um, was that at the time where I sewed, although I had a big room, the desk that I sewed on, this memory craft kind of fitted my footprint better and by that I mean on the brother sewing machines the embroidery arm attached to this left hand side here and it took up quite a bit of space. This machine the embroidery arm attaches to the back and it folds away neatly when not in use into this little case which I'll show you now. So the embroidery unit is in here so that's why, in the end, I went for the Janome. So this arm that you can see here slides onto the back of this machine and then it swings out for when you want to do embroidery. There are also a couple of other little things that you have to do to set it up for machine embroidery and I'll show you what I mean. So here is the machine as it is just ready for any kind of regular sewing, you know, with any of the decorative stitches that are in the machine. But what you have to do is you take this plate off <clears throat> and swap it out with an embroidery plate. And then obviously you put your embroidery foot on. It might seem like a faff, but it's not. It takes seconds. And because it's all so compact, 
for me, it was worth it. So I'll show you what I mean. So the free arm slides out. So this is like where you can do if you need, you know, if you've got a tight space for doing sleeves or bags and that kind of thing. And then in here is the alternative plate that you put on when you're doing machine embroidery. In the front of the case, this is where you know you store all you need, your spare feet and that kind of thing. So basically what I need from in here, I need this section, I need my screwdriver and I need my embroidery foot. And I think that is about it. So I'm just gonna close that back up and then just switch it back to a head-on view of the machine. And I'll show you how easy this is to convert. So I've not got the machine on at the moment. So what you do, there's a lever down here and you just push that lever down. The foot is already up, but I'm just holding onto the presser foot lever at the back and just lifting it up even more. And then this just pops out. So I'm gonna take this bobbin out because that's a regular sewing bobbin. And then again, this pops out. So I'm just going to keep that together. I'm just going to unscrew this foot just a little bit and pop that foot off. So everything I take off the machine that's used for sewing, I keep together on one side. And then all I need to do now is get this and it's got a little yellow mark on it and there's a little mark here that you line it up with. So this just pops into the machine and the, the, the two uh, dots line up together. And then I get this and I just put it in and press it down. And then I get my needle and just attach that not easy to do when there's a camera in your way so I'm trying to do it as easy as possible and just give it a quick tighten and that's it it's ready so the only other thing I have to do now I'm going to slide this bed back onto the machine and then at the back of the machine there's a little piece of plastic here and this is just like a cover really that just protects the slide mechanism for the embroidery arm to slide on so i take that off that's it so i'm going to bring in the embroidery arm now okay and here now this slides on to the back of my machine it's just so simple so i'm just going to try and bring the camera around so that you can see it from front on and i literally i just put it on the desk at the back of the machine and slide it into place so you just slide and push until you hear it click and then on the machine it says the embroidery unit is attached slash detached please turn the power on and off again so all as i need to do now is turn the machine off as it's telling me to do and then turn it back on That just kind of sets everything up. And then I go to machine and say, okay. It's asking me, do I want to resume the last pattern? And I don't. And then all as I have to do is there is a lever on the right hand side of the unit I've just slide on and I press that and the arm will swing out. So I'm not sure how well you're gonna to get to see this. I'll try and lift you up higher. And that lever has released the arm, which then locks into place. So if I just turn the machine around, you should be able to see now that the arm has extended out at like a, a 45 degree angle. But this, when you release this lever again on the side, we'll fold it back in and that's what makes the unit nice and condensed to put away. So that's my machine. The only thing I need to do now is put some bobbin fill in the bobbin and change over the 
thread for whatever I want to sew in. And there's one last thing to do. I'm not sure how well you'll see this, but there's a dial here. And it does tell you once you start getting into the embroidery sewing, the, there are diagrams on the top, but this needs to be switched from number five, which is in a box, which kind of makes you think that that's, you know, the default for the main regular sewing. And you turn this to number three and that's all you need to do. And then if I choose new, it will ask me to choose a hoop size. So I'm going to click on the hoop. And I'm going to choose my small hoop, which is 140 by 140. And then I'm ready to bring a design in and start stitching. So that's how to convert the Memory Craft 9900 from a regular sewing machine to an embroidery machine. And then to switch it back, you just do everything that I've just done in reverse. So you release the lever on the back right hand side of the arm that will fold the arm back in that whole small unit then slides off and can be put away and you just swap the plate and this bobbin I think it's called a bobbin race this bobbin race section back for the regular sewing <coughs> so I hope you found that helpful if you have been looking at this type of machine then obviously you know I hope it's give you a bit of an indication of how easy it is to switch from one type of sewing to another. Um, please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.